Well, tomorrow is Juneteenth, the commemoration of the end of slavery in the U.S. And with the recent calls for racial justice and police reform, the day is even more significant. NBC6 reporter Kim Wen is back with the history behind a day of both remembrance and celebration of black culture. Every year on June 19th, Hundreds pack Washington Park in Hollywood for a day of food, music, gospel, R&B, hip hop, and to celebrate a holiday often overlooked, Juneteenth. We have a holiday that we can ex we can celebrate our freedom. This holiday is over 150 years old. Georgette Wiggins founded Juneteenth South Broward three years ago. The holiday marks the end of slavery in the U.S. when slaves in Texas were told they were free June 19, 1865, two years after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. A day she says many of the customers at her restaurant, Sweetie Hearts, never heard of. As people was coming in, we go, Happy Juneteenth. And everybody that we said it to was like, What's that? <laughs> what is your team? So in 2018, she started organizing the annual event. To me, it's unbelievable. How did we miss that in our history books? Black holidays matter. Black culture matters. Dr. Tamika Hobbs, associate professor of history at FMU, says Juneteenth has never been as widely celebrated as July 4th or other national holidays. When we talk about our segregated experiences and our segregated history, segregated culture, it's very much a part of that. We celebrate the 4th of July, but you have to recognize that our ancestors in 1776 were not free. But she says this year may be different. Well, Juneteenth this year is really going to take on a special significance as we've seen people across the nation and the globe take to the streets and protest. The holiday now catching the attention of major corporations like Target, Best Buy, and other companies. Many companies now who are deciding to make Juneteenth a paid holiday, you're really seeing uh, a step towards inclusion. President Trump was also blasted for scheduling a rally on Juneteenth in Tulsa, Oklahoma, the site of a race massacre in 1921, the president later changing the date. It would have been incredibly, I think, insensitive to the particular experience of African Americans. Because of COVID-19 restrictions, this year's festival won't be held here at Washington Park in Hollywood, but instead will be virtual. We still uh, do the Black National Anthem that we do. We will still have our poets. We have uh, the entertainment. A day Wiggins says is too important not to celebrate. Know your history. Know where you're from. Embrace it. In Broward County, Kim Wynn, NBC6 News.